guys. Welcome back to a new series here on Tired Axe Outdoors. This is going to be Tired Axe Summer Camp. So for our first video, first lesson, we're going to do uh, how to build a fire because that's super important when you're outside, whether you're doing a catch and cook shore lunch or you're camping or uh, even a survival situation. So building a fire is a key example of uh, something that everybody should know how to do. So stick with us and uh, we're gonna get into it. So the first thing you need at a fire is you need kindling. So to start a fire, you're gonna start small. All right, so if you're at home or if you're going camping, uh, newspaper is easily uh, accessible and it's something that's great to start your fire with. If you don't have newspaper, then you can always look to, you know, tree bark, you can look for dead leaves, uh, you know, tall grass, anything that's dry. Even uh, pine cones are great if they're dry. Uh, the key is that it has to be dry. Uh, you know, wet wood isn't gonna burn well, and when you're trying to start a fire, if you've got dry materials, it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. So another good kindling is going to be just small sticks. So anything you can find that's, once again, dry, um, you want, you know, something small, stuff that's gonna take to flame easy, you know, old wood like this that's dried out is great um, because it allows oxygen to get into the wood and then for the flames to build. Uh, moving on from here, you want to get into, you know, once your fire started, then you can get into your, your split wood or your little bit bigger stuff. Um, once again, make sure, you know, your material is dry. If you have split wood like this, you can even pull the bark off and use that as kindling. So you have multiple uh, resources. So we're just building a fire here in the backyard, going to cook some s'mores with the kids. So we're going to start out with some newspaper. So pull a sheet off and just kind of ball it up loosely. Kind of get it flattened out. You don't need a lot of material to get started. So then you're gonna take your next step, you're gonna take your kindling. So, and I like to build some sort of a, uh, a pyramid, um, something that you're gonna get lots of good airflow in between this and your, your base material. There's lots of stuff you can use to start a fire. Tonight we're just using a lighter. Um, you know, there's flint and steel, there is ferrocium rods, there's lighter fluid and torches. Whatever your speed is, is what will work for you. The key is that you're getting into the outdoors. So we're just gonna take our lighter, we're gonna light our base in multiple locations around our frame and let the, the air moving in between the kindling and the, and the uh, newspaper to take flame and hopefully this will catch on fire and we'll get a decent little fire started. All right, so sometimes it's gonna die down a little bit, um, but once again, as long as you're getting oxygen in there, you're gonna get fire at some point. So the key now is just kind of move it around, and this dry birch bark is really, really good for this. So if we wanna light that and kind of move that around, just kind of get it into a loose location and then get some kindling in on top of those flames. All right, so it's a little bit windy here today in the backyard. So what I'm doing is I'm staggering the sticks, kind of a checkerboard. Um, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna help keep the embers uh, down and contained within the fire, um, but still give us some wood to burn. You can see we got a good little base going here. What you're gonna wanna do is just continue to add kindling to this. Um, you know, this would be a good opportunity to move up into a little bit bigger stuff. You don't want to get into your, your, your large pieces yet, um, because what that could do is it could knock the fire down and smother it. Um, so we're just going to slowly add, this is where the patience come in, comes in. Because if you go too quick with this, you're just going to knock the flames out and you're going to smother it. As you guys can see, even, 
even with these small little sticks, every time I put one in, it settles a little bit more as that bottom burns up. So this is the key to building a really good base is, is once again, not overloading your fire. So like I said, you can see here, you know, we get a good fire going, but as it settles down, um, you just want to keep adding more kindling on. And we're still sticking with this small stuff here. And here soon, we'll be able to add, you know, just a little bit bigger stuff. So right now, as you guys can see, I'm building up in a teepee. Um, that's, I guess, my favorite fire to, to build, um, especially for, for just a bonfire or for a campfire. Um, something where you want to have a, a good basic holes for, for cooking or for s'mores or whatever you guys are doing. Um, this is a good uh, route to go. And uh, it allows for your fire to remain stable as you add a little bit bigger kindling. Um, notice I've kind of upgraded at this point, you know, to stuff that's, you know, about the size of your finger, uh, maybe a little longer. Um, you just kind of keep building. All right, one thing to avoid, um, especially in the beginning stages, is if your, your wood has moss or lichen on it, um, I just threw a piece in at this point, and it'll probably be okay. But uh, in the beginning stages, that moss and lichen, even though it looks dry, might still hold moisture, and that could be the end of your fire right there. So that's something to avoid in the beginning stages. this point the fire is getting a little bit bigger back up a little bit here this is a good time to talk about you know fire safety um, obviously if your conditions are dry um, make sure you check for burn bans if you're in state and national parks the last thing you want to do is for a fire to get out of hand especially if there's a a uh, restriction out in your area but uh, at this point we're going to start adding in uh, a little bit bigger material like i said you can see the fire's taken off so we're sitting in pretty good shape see how that knocks that down so once again, we'll still add this in, and once we get up to the big stuff, then you can pretty much throw whatever you want in there. Um, back to a few safety things. Obviously, you got kids, pets. Uh, nobody needs an accident while they're out enjoying the outdoors. So just use caution. Uh, respect fire as you would, you know, the water or the woods or anything like that. Um, it's just something you want to be safe and, and keep, uh, you know, the things away that need to stay away. Um, you know, once the fire is going, you guys got people coming around to enjoy and to, to make s'mores, roast hot dogs. Um, always keep an eye on the little ones, especially. Um, our rule is if we've got a bunch of people around the fire, the, uh, the little ones walk behind the chairs. Um, so nobody's walking right up next to the, uh, the fire pit. The, the last thing you need while you're out enjoying the outdoors is, is an accident with a fire. So, uh, you know, keep the little guys away, keep the pets away. Um, also what you want to use um, here at home We've got just a, and it's an old fireplace poker. Got to step out of the smoke here. Um, so, you know, once you get the fire going, you don't want to be sticking your hands in there. Uh, you can wear, you know, fire resistant gloves. Um, they have big heavy leather gloves for adding logs. Um, you can use a fire poker if you do need to move some, some stuff around. Um, just, you know, be smart, use common sense. Um, you know, you got to treat this uh, with the same respect as you would, you know, going out on a lake in a canoe or hiking in the so mountains. We appreciate you joining us for this first session of Tired Axe Outdoors Summer Camp. Please hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. That way you guys won't miss the next video in this series or any of our great fishing uh, or other outdoors ch videos. My city. You, we'll get some chairs <laughs> set up here in a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna get uh, the little guys out. We're gonna get some chairs set up. We're gonna roast some marshmallows and make some s'mores. Check us out on Instagram at Tired Axe Outdoors. And uh, until next time, we'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.